Do you find calculating trade size and managing risk confusing and time consuming? What if you could do it all in just a few seconds without any hassle? Here is how simple it can be. Enter the percentage of your account you want to risk, move your entry line to where you plan to enter the trade, move your stop loss line to your desired stop loss level, click the button to place the trade and let the tool do the math for you. In this video, I will show you three free tools for MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5 and TradingView. These tools are also available for CTrader and other platforms, making it incredibly easy to set your trade and automatically calculate the load size. You will be able to place trades in seconds and keep your account safe by controlling your risk. I start this video with setting up strong foundations about pips, lot size and compound interest for those who need it. Then I show you the three tools by trading platform. I've included chapters in this video so you can quickly access the setup and use of the tool for your trading platform if you already know the basics. And finally, you can download all of the tools from the link in the description for free. Understanding the basics. Here we will look about pips and lot size. See, the two elements necessary to calculate the amount at risk in a trade are the pips and the volume. First, what is a pip? A pip, a percentage in point, is the unit of measurement to express the change in value between two currencies. For example, if the euro USD moves from 11050 to 11051, that is 0.0001 USD rise in value, and it is 1 pip. To simplify, in Forex, here are different price. We need to forget about the dot and just look at the two last digits. The second to last digit is the pip, and the last is what we call the micro pip. When we use the cross tool on MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5, by maintaining the click on it like that, it will give us the amount of pips. That's the number in second position. And on trading view, here on the forecasting and measurement tool, you will find the price range. It gives us the amount of pips here on the right side. What is a lot size? A lot size in trading determines the amount of currency units you are trading. For example, in Forex, a standard lot is 100,000 units of currency. It represents one unit in the volume tab where you will enter your trade volume. A mini lot represents 0.10 volume equals 10,000 units of currency. And the micro lot 0.01 volume represents 1000 units of currency. For example, in the Euro USD pair, one standard lot represents $10 per pip. 0.10 lot equals $1 per pip, and 0.01 lot equals $0.10 per pip. How to define the risk on a single trade? The risk is determined by the distance in pips between the entry point and your stop loss multiplied by the amount, volume, equal lot size, you invest in those pips. When we place a trade, we need to figure out how much money we are risking based on our account size. I usually risk between 0.5 to 2% of my account, depending on my strategy and if I trade a funded account or a personal one. On a funded account, you need to be more conservative. Why use a percentage of your account? First, as our account grow, so does the size of our trades and our potential profits. For example, with a $100 account risking 1% per trade, a 3 to 1 risk to reward ratio means risking $1 to potentially make $3. As your account grows to $130, for example, your risk becomes $1.30 and your potential profits becomes $3.90. This increase in trade size and profit continues as your account grows. Conversely, if your account drops to $70, your risk decreases to $0.70, helping protect your account during losses. Second element, compound interest. By risking a fixed percentage per trade, you can achieve consistent profit growth. For instance, 
With a $10,000 account making a 10% profit per month using a 1% risk and my daily income generator strategy, link at the end of the video, you can see significant growth. Using an Excel spreadsheet, we start with $10,000. And for the example, we use 10% as a monthly steady profit. After one month, the account grows by $1,000 and the trade size increased from $100 to $110. After six months, the account grows to $17,716, which is a 77% gain, with a trade size now of $161. After 12 months, the account triples. In comparison, using a fixed amount per trade, the account only doubles over the same period. After two years, a compounded account reaches $100,000, while the other one, using a fixed size, would only reach $34,000. A $66,000 difference between the two. Trading is a slow and steady game, and that's why using a percentage at risk matters. Comment below if you want this specific spreadsheet. Traditional method of calculating your size and placing trades. Let's look at how to place a trade manually. And this might seem boring, I know, but I am a strong believer of understanding fundamentals before using advanced tools. And also, if one day the tools don't work anymore or if they ask you money for it, at least you know how they work fundamentally and can do it yourself. Let's look at the traditional method of calculating and placing a trade. First, we need to determine the amount of pips between the entry and the stop loss point. For this specific example, I will use my income generator strategy. We take the example of this short term downtrend at this moment in time, and we look for a strong valley in my volume at price, and then we switch to the daily chart. When price touched this level, what happened at this time was an angle thing right here or a pin bar. I determine my entry on the one hour chart. 48.5% retracement right here. And my stop loss will be with a red line above the high. To find the distance between my entry and my stop loss, I use the cross. Click from here to here. And here you can see I get 339 micro pips. This value is in micro pips. And the final element of my trade will be naturally the target profit right here that I materialize with a blue line. This represents around three times my entry. That's what we call a risk to reward of one to three. Now that we have our amount of pips, let's calculate the load size. To calculate the load size, you can just use the one from my FX book. So in the currency, you will choose USDCHF right here. Here we are. The account currency, if it's a USD or Euro, whatever. The account size. So for the example, we'll take just $10,000. The risk ratio, so this is how much percent of your account you want to put at risk. So in this case, I want 1% at risk. Stop loss equal pips. That's the distance between your entry and your stop loss. So here it is 33 pips, not micro pips, because it would have been written micro pip here and not pips. Trade size. Here you just let it one, depending of if you have a regular account or a micro account, it will be lot or mini lot eventually. So you calculate. And here you get the result. So the money at risk for a $10,000 account using 1% is $100. Everything is fine. That's it. Units 26.824, which means this is the number of units. If you're using, for example, trading view, we'll see that later. And the sizing will be 0 0.27 lot. That's the volume that interests us here. Placing your trade on your account. Come back to the platform, click on new order. Go to pending order, because in my strategy, it will be a limit order. But if you want it to enter directly at market execution, you will do market execution. Okay. So here it will be a pending order. Here we enter the volume 0 0.27. The stop loss value for this, we will use this number 0 0.9510. For your take profit, usually you take the distance between your entry and your stop loss right here. So 300. 37 and you multiply it by the number of reward that your strategy tells you to apply and then you will take the entry point and you will subtract this amount of pips in in a cell example to find out where will be your target profit that's the calculation you will have to do here and for the take profit same we use this value 089 209 this order will be a cell limit and the price will be this number right here 090 170 if you like, you put an expiry 
and then you place the trade. You will see right here, my trade is placed, my stop loss is in place. And if I go on the stop loss, I can see the value, which is 103 USD at risk on this specific trade. That's how you calculate your lot size and place your trade the regular way. If you find value in my content, thank you for liking this video. It helps me a lot. Now let's look at the efficient way using position sizers. We take the same example of this angle thing candle right here. Here is the process once everything is installed. I click on Ctrl E, Ctrl R, and then here I set my risk to reward ratio, which will be three, and then I click OK. Here, I can put a percentage of my account at risk, or I can set a specific lot size. We always stick to 1%. And then I click new order, it will be a sell limit. My red line is my stop loss, just above the candle. My entry is a yellow line, I just drag it to 48.5% right here. And then my target profit will automatically adjust to the right place. I click on submit. Here, I verify that the risk in money right here is the proper and then I validate the trade and that's very simple no calculation just drag and drop the line where you want your entry your stop loss and the target profit will be set automatically if you want to move your target profit you just drag the line and it will move anywhere you want now let's set it up on MetaTrader 4 so it is quick and easy to use once you unzip the file you will find this folder here you go into control your risk effortlessly you go into MT4 tools and then you go to easy order complete EN. You have here three folders, one for indicator, one for libraries and one for script. This is how it works. You will go inside each of those folder and you will select, paste it, right click, paste. This is French, but this is paste. And then you go back into your MetaTrader 4, file, open data folder, and in MQL4, that's where you will find the indicator folder, the libraries, and the scripts, okay? So you go into indicator, right click, and then paste it, everything bare here, not inside the folder, inside. And you do the same for the rest. You restart your MD4, you go here in the navigator, and then you go in the indicators right here. You click on the GV set here two times, and it should set the global variable set. Now, what I mean by that is this tool, the easy order tool for MetaTrader 4, use a set of three global variables. To access them, you use the F3 key on your keyboard. And here you will have to input three different variable with the beginning named EO. So the first is EO order count, this variable permits you to place two trades at the same time with this tool and the trade will have the same size. But when you place a trade, you need to take this into account and reduce your risk. If you place two trades at the same time, you need to only input, for example, 0.5% at risk per trade because those cumulated will put you 1% at risk total. The EO allow trading. Set the value to 1 for it to work. It permits the tool to work, basically. This one is not very important, but necessary. The third one is EO no confirmation. This one, if you input it to one, it means the pop-up box that asks you if you are okay with the size, everything, it will not confirm it. It will just place the trade without you having to confirm the trade. This is useful eventually if you are doing scalping and you want to place very fast. If the GV set indicator doesn't work and doesn't put all those three, you will have to input them manually for the tool to work, okay? The EO order count is also useful if you want to set different target profit. This way, you will have to set 0.33, for example, if you place three trades, and then you can place three different target profit on it. That's how it is used for. Once it's done, make sure the auto trading is on. And final tip, me, I use hotkey to put this on my chart. First, you will go into the script folder right here, and then you will search for easy order, this one. This is the only one you want to use. The other one are subsidiary to it. So you right click and you will set hotkey, and me, I use control E. So every time I press control E, it magically appears on my chart. Then I do the same for the indicator for the risk to reward ratio. Here, you have the easy order in, you right click on it, 
set the hotkey and this time I use Control R. This way every time I click on Control R it put it on my chart automatically and then I just have to set the value. Once it's put one time on your chart it will stay for all time. And here it is, easy order, will calculate automatically your size for you for MetaTrader 4. Now let's look at MetaTrader 5. Here it works like easy order on MetaTrader 4 except that the color of the line is different and the panel has more functions because it can manage trades and also control the overall risk of your account but that will be the topic for another video. So here for example you will select long if you want it to buy right now. Here you will have to select between instant or pending if you want to move the blue line, the blue line is your entry. So if I wanted to buy at this level right here then I will move the blue line right there and then my stop loss which will be this one will move below and then I will have here to input my risk so here 0.5 for example or 1% at risk in this account and then my TP place it at 2.5 as a risk to reward ratio automatically this is a little bit less convenient than easy order because you cannot really input very easy the, the target profit risk to reward ratio. You will have to go into the MetaTrader 5 code editor to change this, this value. But we will see that just after. So once you know where is your entry, your stop loss, this will be a pending order. So it will be a buy limit and you go into trading and you place the trade. When you do that, same, the pop-up box arrive here and it will tell you here how much you put at risk which will be 589 in this specific account which represent 1% of it. Let's go over the dashboard quickly. First you have the entry. Here you click if you go long or short if you want to buy or to sell. Here you have the pending or stop limit or instant. You use mainly the instant and the pending order okay. Here you can hide or put visible the lines. Here is your account balance or your equity. You can change this value for the tool to calculate the risk based on your equity or your account balance. Okay. In terms of risk, this is to control the risk overall on your account. I will go in detail in this in another video. Margin same, swaps same and trading basically here is a trading button where you place your trade. You can also use a trailing stop, a break even, and this tool is very complete. It's a very good quality tool. Now let's look at the installation of it. Here, same, you go back into the second folder and you go into MT5 tools. So here I have put an installation readme. So you have a written tutorial here and eventually a YouTube video that you can watch to see it. So it's quite simple. You go here, there is a description on the folder. You will select everything, you copy it, and then you go into your MT5, open data folder, MQL5, expert, right click and you paste everything there. And that's it. You restart your MT4 and the position sizer will be here. You go into the navigator once again, expert advisor, and here you will find the position sizer. To make it easier to put on my chart, I set a hotkey right here. It's in French, sorry for that. Control E, I said the same, so it's easy for me to use. And then every time I click on Control E, then I get this. So authorize the algorithmic trading, always press this one. And then the parameter, I leave them by default here, okay? So this will set a specific 1% at risk on my account every time I put it on the chart. A tip here to place my trade, since the panel is a bit complicated, aside of going to trading, there is a hotkey that works to just place your trade and it is a shift T and shift T will place the trade automatically as you can see right now. I always verify the amount at risk on each of my trade. This is a last safety, okay? Now, if you want to do like me and to modify this expert, so when you put it on your chart, he has already the right parameters for your strategy. What you can do is go there, click on it, right click and say modify and it will send you to the code editor from MetaTrader 5, okay? In the line 90 here, you can see that there is a default risk at 0.5. That's where I set my default risk and this is set to 0.5 because this is a prop firm account. In this square, you can see all the hotkey, trade hotkey, shift T, switch order, etc., etc. So you can modify the hotkey basically on the EA, which is pretty nice. Here is what is very important for my strategy is the TP multiplier right here. 
So here I set it myself to 2.5, okay? So you can modify this value, be very careful because you are in the code. So be very precise and make sure to not messing it up. Or if you mess it up, you just have to reinstall it from the original file. Once this is done and you have modified the value that you wanted based on your strategy, for your risk size and for your TP multiplier, then you will click on compile right here. And when it's done in the description box right here, you make sure there is no errors. Once it's done, you just exit this, you restart your platform, you remove it, and then you try to put it back. And you see if the parameters are according to your strategy. For TradingView, depending on your broker, you might have access to a better tool, but I will show you how to use the long and short position tool, uh, which is by default. Here you go into forecasting and measurement tools and here you have the long and the short position. To show you an example, I will just take this one and click on the chart. And it put automatically this box. Since I took the short position, this is a sell order. Line in the middle represents your entry point. Line on the top, your stop loss that you can move as you wish. And the bottom represents your target. If you right click here, you can go into the settings. In the setting, you can modify the account size, $10,000 for example the load size to one, the risk in percentage you want to put at risk on this trade, your entry price, and it will automatically compute based on where you place your stop loss on the chart. There is no automatic computation for the take profit here, okay? Once it's done, as you can see, when I move my stop loss now, the quantity right here is moving at the same time. And the quantity basically will be your load size. So the quantity means how many units and one lot represents 100,000 okay, unit. So here, if you have 49,504, then it will represent 0 0.49 or 50 lot size okay, in volume. So when you will place your trade, you will go here on trading view and you will input your entry. So you need to do it manually. This is not as fast as for MetaTrader 4 and 5. But depending on your broker, you might find something that is more efficient. For example, the other day I was using Trade Locker with, with a prop firm that is not really good actually. But Trade Pro had a good tool that was literally the same as what we can find on MetaTrader 5 and MetaTrader 4. So here my entry would be 08991, as what you can see right here. And then I will take my stop loss right here and my target profit right here. The number of units that's where you will place the 49,504. Here in the stop loss, you will input the value. Here we go. And as a take profit, you will put, here we go. And you will place your order right here. And you can see now, the amount at risk is $100. Perfect. So this tool is nice, but it doesn't place the trade for you in a very easy way. So this is just a calculator. And there is a very bad side to this tool is it doesn't work with all the currency pairs that don't end with USD, which is a very bad side, okay? So I will delete that and I will show you another tool that works for everything, but it works exactly the same. You will go into indicator and you will search for PSTV 0.77 indicator. And then you will find this position sizing tool right here from skip loss. And it will ask you to select an entry point. So for example, my entry will be here. It asks you then to select the take profit, which will be right here. Select the stop loss now, above this high, for example. And then it will place automatically those three levels. To set the parameter properly based on your strategy, you go here. On this tool, you will you will put the account size, risk 1%, contract size 100,000, which is one lot, regular. And then the entry and take profit, you will just move it manually, okay? Now it will give you the proper lot amount that you need to place, 0 0.71. This will be for this trade and it will represent 1% of your account. So this is a nice tool and this works for every currency pair, which is better than the regular one long and short position. This tool will only calculate the size and not place trade faster for you, but your computations will be instant, saving you time still. However, this makes them less appealing compared to the other tools from MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. 
I have traded with the Trade Pro platform, which integrates TradingView, and it had a panel similar to the one I showed you for MetaTrader 4 and 5. Depending on your broker, you might find a similar tool for TradingView. However, I don't use them since I'm with IC Markets, which offers excellent trading condition and is well regulated. I use IC Market with MetaTrader essentially. If you know a better method than this one, please share it in the comments and I will research it and make a new video to enhance this one. Also, if you want to have my complete plan to become financially free with trading in four months, I link another video in the description that explains how to do it and how I can help you each step of the way. Using this tool, you can streamline your trading process, making it faster and more efficient. By controlling the size of each trade, you protect your account and enhance your trading strategy. Remember to download the necessary tools from the links in the description and follow the instruction to install them on your platform. With this in your pocket, you can now use my income generator strategy to make 5-15% to profit a month using 1% as your trading size. And also, you can improve your trading using my trading journal. It will help you improve your execution and reprogram your mind for trading success. Follow those links to access the video. See you soon. Bye everyone.